Hey guys, Troy here. I didn't start playing guitar in church. So if you experienced a similar journey as I did, having played guitar outside the worship genre, you know, like blues or metal or rock or country or what have you, uh, you found the transition really, really challenging. I know I did, and it was really tough to contribute positively on the worship team at first. So what I've done is I put together a collection of videos with the concepts that I feel are vital to contributing well in this genre and being an effective player, kind of those aha moments that I've had throughout the years that have really helped me with that transition. And together they form Worship Guitar Basic Training and Worship Guitar Bootcamp. Now basic training is geared toward the beginner, while bootcamp is geared toward the intermediate to advanced guitar player. Worship Guitar Basic Training is a linear course, so the videos are designed to be watched from the first one to the last one in succession and they're designed for the beginning guitar player who knows open chords, some bar chords, maybe major, minor, basic things like that. And now you're looking to transition into lead guitar playing in a worship setting. This course is all about building the foundation. So you're going to learn the necessary theory, skills, and even some hacks that will help you contribute more positively on your worship team from the beginning. So there's two main benefits to worship guitar basic training. The first one is that all the courses are taught through the lens of a worship guitar player. So I'm an essentialist in that regard in that that's really all I focus on. So all my time and energy as it relates to music is put into the worship genre. That's really, really what I care about. So as you learn these skills and theory and techniques, they're going to have direct application to playing in a church setting. The second benefit of worship guitar basic training is that all the material is Christ-centered. So if you prefer to learn the basics and these foundational skills, in a Christ-centered way, this course will be perfect for you. Now, Worship Guitar Basic Training comes before Worship Guitar Boot Camp. So once you finish basic training, move right into boot camp and the videos connect very well. Also included in this course are quizzes, printable resources, and diagrams to help you along the learning journey. Now, the videos in Worship Guitar Boot Camp cover things like dialing in the perfect reverb tone, dialing in the perfect delay tone, the basics of delay tap divisions, how to build chord inversions, which you probably know is one of the most important concepts in worship guitar playing. Pattern recognition, the importance of being a dynamic player. How to build swell tones, the chord shapes to use for swells. It compares even the most popular tones of some of the most popular worship groups out there so you can understand the distinctions and how to get those tones. It also goes through an incredibly important concept which is transposing songs. And if you know anything about playing in church, or transposing songs all the time. The great thing about basic training and boot camp is that all this is in one place. So early on in my journey, I'd pick up a great tip, say now, and then six months to a year later, I'd pick up another great tip and one of those big aha moments. And I wished I would have heard about that, say six months to a year sooner, would have made my life a lot easier. So instead of you experiencing that, put all these videos and lessons and learning moments in one location so you can watch them all and then come out the other side a better guitar player. My prayer for you is that these videos, when it's all said and done, would make you a more confident player so you can focus less on playing guitar and more on worshiping our risen Savior and that God would get the glory and that would help bring joy to his people as we worship together on Sundays. That's what it's all about. I pray that as we play and as we sing, that God's people would be encouraged and filled with joy and that people that don't know Christ would listen to the words that we are singing and be open to the gospel, maybe for the first time, that their ears would be ready to hear and their hearts would be prepared to receive the word, to receive the good news, and they would repent and be saved and join us in the joy that is worshiping with the saints on Sundays. We have this great privilege as guitar players in church to partner with the Lord to create an atmosphere of worship an atmosphere that helps his people worship in spirit and truth and brings him glory. And it's simply an honor. And I pray that these videos help you do that. So if these videos sound like they're for you, maybe you're a beginning player and basic training is the right path for you. Or you're an intermediate, advanced player and boot camp is a good path for you. Pick up some new tricks, some new tips, different ways to approach this thing. You can become a member at guitarforhisglory.com. There's three levels of membership and you can check those out on the first page of the website. In the end, I'm hoping these videos help you shorten the distance from point A to point B simply by sharing the tips and tricks and light bulb moments that I've had throughout the years that help me transition from blues to strictly playing in the worship genre. If you are interested and have questions, please feel free to reach out. 
Otherwise, you can sign up on the website and start going through the videos. I truly, truly hope they're helpful. So I'll see you out there, guys. Let's make it happen. Soli, Deo, Gloria. To God alone be the glory. Hallelujah.